YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renata Monique and I'm here with another YouTube video. So if you want to hear an update about my thoughts on the pros and cons of sister locks, then stay tuned. to an earlier video I did on the pros and cons of having sister locks. So this is my five month lock um, anniversary. I've been locked for five months and I just got a fresh, fresh, fresh to death retie. So y'all can see it. Um, but if you wanna hear more about um, my five month update, then you can check an earlier video that I did, I think about a week ago or maybe two weeks ago. But anyway, I have my notes here, y'all, so that I can stay on task. So if you see me looking down, along with some wine, take a little sip. So let's get into it. So let's start out with some cons, right? I have very, very little cons. So let me go ahead and put that disclaimer out there. And also, this is just my opinion. Um, this is just my thoughts on, I did a really, I did a video early on in my lock journey um, about the pros and cons of sister locks, but that may have been one month in or so. So now I am almost six months. So I wanted to update that video a little bit because I've also found out some pretty, um, some different things. So my opinion changed just slightly. So let's go ahead and start with the cons. Okay, you already know, sister locks can be expensive. Um, it depends on, and a lot of times people come up to me and ask me about my sister locks, and one of the first things they wanna know is how much did I pay? Because mine are super tiny, um, they see a bunch of them and they just assume that you know we, they all cost the same. And oftentimes I find myself having to explain to people that um, it depends on your length, the density of your hair, where your loctician is located, and his or her um, expertise on what they charge um, for their time. You know, that is a factor as well. So you just gotta be mindful that it is expensive. The next thing is maintenance. Now, I have maintenance on a con, but I also have it on a pro. So my, my con about maintenance is you have to go every four, five, six, sometimes eight weeks, depending on your own hair growth, your own hair needs. And your loctician is the one that will tell you how often you need to go get your hair retightened. I am on a four week regimen. I go every four weeks faithfully. Actually, this time it stretched to five weeks um, because um, she had something that she couldn't be there so i had to stretch it one more week and i could see the difference like i need because my hair is super soft so i definitely need every four weeks so keep that in mind that you're at the mercy of someone that you got to go get your hair done every four six eight whatever the case may be which brings me to another con is you have to have unlike with a stylist you know you can change stylists and it's not that you can't change um sister locticians or um, consultants, but we, you really don't want to unless you have to. Because this person, you know, established, established your sister locks, you kind of develop a comfort zone, a relationship, they know your hair. So you really want to find someone that you really can't bounce around like as freely as you can in the loose natural um, world. At least I did anyway. Um, so that's another thing that could be a con is having to go to someone every four weeks. So you wanna make sure that you and that person who ever established your hair, y'all jive and y'all get it on. You know what I'm saying? You wanna be comfortable. Which brings me to the next one, is the time. The time it takes to establish sister locks can be anywhere from 24 hours to 48 hours to 72 hours. Mine um, was done in, in uh, a one day sitting but it was 18 hours. Like, I just wanted them done. I had something to do. She had another skit and we just knocked it out. So it was 
a long, long day. So that's another thing. If you don't have the patience to sit and kind of be still for that long, and some people, most people actually, it's over two or three days. So that's another factor to take into account. And even with getting your hair retightened, I mean, if you've had micro locks or, or braids or box braids, you know, we used to sit in for a while, you know, but you know, you may go and most people aren't getting them. You know, you may get box braids for a little bit of time and then, you know, you take them out and then you go back to doing whatever you was doing. But with sister locks, you have to get them retightened and maintained. And yours, it could be anywhere from two to four, six, and even longer, depending on your own hair. My uh, retie typically takes her about two and a half hours and I'm in and out. She's a very punctual optician. I feel very comfortable there. She, we get along, the energy is great, and I just love those two hours. Um, so it doesn't bother me, but that could be a con for someone else. Um, so you definitely need patience. Um, next we have uh, another con is, if you're not a person that, well, I shouldn't say this. It could be a con, if you get irritated or bothered by people asking you about your hair. Um, that is definitely something that will happen. People will stop you, they will ask questions, they will assume they are like twists or you got little plaits or you know all kinds of things that just come out of their mouth with curiosity. So I find myself always kind of educating people about my sister locks. Um, especially at this stage. Now, I'm sure once they mature and they start to take the form of locks, I probably won't have to do that as much. But for some, that could be a con. So I just added that. So let's get into the pros. Time for a sip. The pros. For me, one of the things I love about having my sister locks is the uniqueness. You are unique. However, your hair locks, how they look on you, how they form is unique to you. So your experience and my experience could be two different experiences. Our locks will look different, but yet alike. That is one of the things I absolutely love. I've always loved standing out in the crowd and being different. This just gives me the opportunity to really embrace that confidence, which is my next one. I'm very confident about my hair. I thought I would go, I went from I weaves, braids, I always had hair. So I thought that it would be difficult for me to find a way to, to rock my sister locks in a way that met my style. You know, I'm very trendy, I'm very, um, I can be kind of, you know, I like that glamorous look, you know, I used to like the long hair part in the middle, ringlet curls, whole nine yards. But I found a way, honey, and I rock my sister locks. I have not yet put on a, uh, a unit or anything over top of them yet. Not to say that I won't, but I just haven't yet. And if I do, it sure won't be because of that I'm not confident. It'll just be a moment where I'm looking for a little change. So, uniqueness, confidence, hair growth. I mean, I look back at four months, y'all. I barely had this much hair in the front. Like, and now I got the bang bang. I'm just saying. You know, it has grown so much. And just watching your own hair grow is amazing to me. Which brings me to my next pro. So we got uniqueness, we got hair growth, and no products. Which ties into a con about um, the price and also having to go get your hair retightened. You make up for that in products and in other things. You don't have to waste money on buying stuff for your hair. It is very minimal. If anything, a little bit of water, a little spray bottle, you're good to go. The other stuff that people add, that's just their choice. If you want to add a little oil in your, your mixture or a little, you know, something to get your hair maybe extra dry. But other than that, you don't have to use any product, which is amazing to me. I never would have thought, we are so conditioned to think that we need so much stuff in our hair for our hair to grow, when it's so many living witnesses, we don't. We don't. Our hair will grow. So, my next one is, it's very minimal. You know, you can just wake up, shake it, and go. Literally. Put a hairband on if you choose, hair pin on the side. I decided to try to 
be cute, y'all, and uh, <laughs> tuck my behind my ear, like, you know, like giving myself the illusion. But you could just get up and go. I love that. I'm in the healthcare field, and it's a great thing. We're wearing hair covered now. So my hair is even more protected because it's not even out in the elements at work. So it's just flourishing. Um, the other thing is, um, what I like also, what I consider a pro is that you get to share and talk about your hair. People aren't stopping people with weaves a lot of times. Unless, well, I guess they can ask them where they got their bundles from. I don't know. But by now, bundles are everywhere. But people stop and ask you questions. They are curious about your hair. They are curious about you and, your, and, and how you rock it. I can see people looking and being like, wow, that's because they're in awe of that, which brings me to another con is being a part of a wonderful community. I've heard the the naysayers on the Sisala community being a little um, catty or maybe a little mean girlish, but I haven't experienced that. When I see sisters on the street with their hair done, I've only gotten a great response when I compliment them or they compliment me, or even on the uh, on the social media platforms. I've run across some amazing women with gorgeous sister locks who compliment one another and they compliment us newbies coming into the game. And it's wonderful. The next one is anticipating. The anticipation and the excitement. And what I mean by that is, I don't know about y'all, but I stay anticipating and excited about my hair, what it's going to look like. I can't believe it's grown this long. Oh my gosh, I can run my fingers through it. it when is it gonna change? What's it gonna look like when it gets long? When I can put it in a ponytail, have some hang time. All of the excitement of the experience, a part of this journey, it just blows me away. And I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to a year. Oh, I'll be six months next month. So then I'm saying, okay, so if it, after six months, I'll be a year and another six months, is my length going to double? Like all of these things make it so exciting for me. So that's another one. And also just learning another pro to, I mean, another pro for me is learning to be creative. I have to, if I so choose to, um, learn to be creative with my hair. Um, I've tried, I look on YouTube, I see cute styles. Now I can get two puffs, one puff, half up, half down, braid one side, leave one side down. It's so many different looks I can achieve. And you guys stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a hairstyle video. And I've come up with some really cute attachments for my sister locks that actually can make my sister locks look a little fuller and longer and like get that high bun by just adding a cute little attachment that does not, does not interfere with my natural hair. So that's coming, so stay tuned. Um, and my final thing is a pro for me is just being so happy and thrilled to be in my own natural skin, my own natural hair, all of those things. It has just been so liberating. And I find that this journey, whether it be sister locks or traditional locks or braid locks or micro locks, whatever your journey is, whatever your truth is, embrace it. It makes you glow. It makes you beautiful. So those are my pros and my cons of this wonderful thing called my sister lock journey. I hope you guys like this video. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I, Renetta Monique, uploads another YouTube video. So, until the next time and in between time, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I do, do, do thank all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you all who tune in to hear what I have to say. Thank you so, so much.